Instructions for auto cycle. Rotate the knob to switch the charging current. Discharging current, end voltage and rest time settings. Press the knob. The parameter turns green, indicating that the current parameter has been selected. Rotate the knob and you can adjust parameters. The charging and discharging current can be customized to 0.532A. End voltage can be customized to 2.940V. The rest time can be customized to 03 hours. After adjustment, long press the knob. It redirects to the auto cycle interface. The charging state of auto cycle starts by default. The charging current is the one that be set in the auto cycle interface. When the battery is fully charged, it switches to the rest state. The rest time is the one that be set in the auto cycle interface. When the rest time is reached, the battery will switch to the discharging state. The discharge current is the one that be set in the auto cycle interface. When the discharge voltage reaches the set voltage, the system will switch to the rest state. When the rest time is reached, the system will automatically switch to the charging state. Detailed parameters can be viewed on the startup interface of AutoCycle. The original and current value of battery life, max capacity, set capacity, and cycle counts are clearly visible. The state time at the bottom. Green indicates current status time, red indicates battery cycle time. Long press the knob to manually switch the battery status. In the discharging state, when the temperature is too high, the intelligent induction fan on the adapter will work automatically. When the temperature drops to the normal state, the fan will turn off automatically. The above are some data of the battery cycle when it's in processing. Users can customize and adjust the auto cycle data to the best state. The above is the data tested by Aixen Studio for your reference. If the battery needs to exit temporarily during the cycle process, press ESC to return. You can choose whether to save the current calibration status or not. You can select open the saved file or not. When entering the battery cycle interface next time, note, 1, the calibration status can only be saved in boot up status, the saved status will lose after shutdown, 2, when a new state needs to be saved, the old one will be replaced.